audio jungle. Buddy Brandon with Bearded CB82, and today we're here with the Crazy Scotsman, aka our local Scotch. Uh, wouldn't say expert, and I wouldn't say snob, but he's he's a resident of the uh, Scotch stuff. And we're having a cigar. Yeah, Smoke a pot. Yep. So I have not yet tried this. This is Iowa's take on a uh, single malt. Probably the closest thing supposedly made to Scotch in Iowa, anyways. Uh, outside of Scotland, I don't know, but it's supposed to have a, a slight peaty finish to it. Okay. So I've Baby's never good. tried this. Uh, it runs forty to fifty dollars a bottle, depending on where you get it. It's a ninety-two proof, and so we're gonna give this a a sip because you don't take a shot of it. You, you, anything you should properly sip it, and we're gonna get. Scott's take on Iowa's take of a scotch. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be better than a lot of the other cheaper scotches you can find out there that are made in Scotland anyways. The, <coughs> the one cedar rig you sent me before, that was pretty good. That was their, uh, I think, I can't remember which bourbon that was, but they do have damn alarms. Uh, a few different bourbons that they make, a couple different single barrel stuffs, a rye that they do. Uh, they do seasonals as well, so we'll uh, see how this goes. I'll give you the taller one. I got a go. <laughs> so Cedar Ridge Quintessential Signature Blend. Smooth, yeah, definitely got a smooth smell. It's, it's definitely peaty. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be close to your other Eileys that you can find, <clears throat> but maybe we're on the uh Johnny Walker side of things, so figure that out. Not as smooth as you think it'd be. No. Um, I'd say maybe along the lines of like uh, Dewar's or something. Yeah, Dewar's. Yeah. yeah. So, kind of in that mark. But Dewar's you can find anywhere 30 to $40 a bottle, depending on the year and all the other stuff, how long it's been aged. Definitely peaty. It's not very smoky, though. No. If they're trying to bring this to, to like an ILA, it's, it's not anywhere no. close. I think they were going more for a regular single malt. Now, I tried the Kirkland uh, Costco version of their ILA, and it was slightly smoky, was slightly peaty, but it was a little bit more harsh around the edges than this, and it was about 40 some dollars a bottle. And I think if you wanted an ILA, I think uh, Lafrag or uh, one of the other. Was it like they got a four or five years? Uh, Ardbeg does. Yeah, Ardbeg. Yeah, they got yeah. they got two different ones. Yep. Yeah. That are around the forty to fifty dollar range. I think you'd be better off getting one of those than the Kirkland one. Yeah, your your, your ten year will run you about fifty bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Frag ten years a decent go to, I think. For it's not too bad. I prefer yeah. the twelve year over there. I'm I'm picky though. <laughs> yeah. This is sweet. It, it's mm -hmm. got a very sweet taste to it. But yeah, I think. Maybe add a little bit of mineral water to it, it'd open up a little bit more, but worth just, the experience. Just, just a dash of water. If you ever do water, just a dash. Yeah, you're talking like uh, an eyedropper, so like maybe two milliliters full max of a decent mineral water, not something out of the kitchen tap. Yeah, it's definitely got a sweet aftertaste to it. 
Mm-hmm. Kind of windy for a minute. Not terrible. No, it's good though. I'd say for Iowa we did pretty good, but I think for the <clears throat> what it runs, I think it's more for the experience of it to try it out. Right. <clears throat> They've been making it for almost two years now on the market, so okay. there you go. So Cedar Ridge American Single Malt Whiskey. Yeah, I think, yeah, just a dash of water in with one of those if you wanted to sip on it. would be nice for the experience, but if you wanted something a little bit smoother, I think going the direct scotch route might be a little bit better option for you. Out of 10, I'd say probably a solid six and a half, seven. I'd say solid seven. I mean, it's definitely not waters, thank God. If it was, then I'd be wanting my money back. <laughs> but I think uh, if you wanted something a little bit more affordable, that's kind of in between Johnny Walker Red Label's kind of a... That one I've been surprised with. I, I was surprised by their Black Label. I've had their Black Label before. I was surprised by that. Surprised yeah, I haven't had that, that, that yet. Um, I want to try the Black Label and the Green Label, but the Red Label... It, it, it's surprisingly got a little bit of smokiness to it. Uh, Coda Boy had it out at the farm one year. Mm-hmm. It was pretty smooth. It wasn't too bad. Nope. So, those boys can drink. <laughs> <laughs> they were born in bourbon. So, I heard there was quite a bit last night. But anyways, that's a, another video for another day. <laughs> so, Well, you know, we got up about noon, so... I thought that was you anything. They did. I was up at six. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't stay for the after party. I had to. I had stuff I had to do. And stuff I had to do this morning. So, but anyways, we're gonna sit here and enjoy some uh, pop slam and some cedar ridge, and we're gonna wait for uh, Alan to get here or Jan or which, whatever. Whichever you one shows up first. Yep. Whichever one shows up first. <laughs> so, thanks for stopping in, and y'all take care. Sanjiva. Sanjiva. <laughs> Somebody finally shows up for whiskey. Now, now we have to turn around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The back, the back. We must see the back. Oh, so he hides nothing. Should we see? <laughs> and that's where we cut. All right, so continuation to our little regale. Since we have... The legendary Alan B. Pro with his tartan on, um, uh, Wallace Tartan. And he's also, uh, well, I kind of introduced you to Isley Scotches with the Lafrag. Yep, yep. And how was that? Uh, just phenomenal. Yeah. And, and so he, he was originally a SoCo guy till I introduced him to that. So now, as you already saw, how me and uh, the crazy Scotsman thought of the uh, Iowa version of a single malt scotch so much. Uh, well, we're going to get another opinion on that. Well, and I wasn't here while you all judged this. Nope. So so and this we, is... We did rate it out of 10, so... Yep, we did give it a 1 out of 10. Um, you gave it a one, huh? No, well, we Are you rated sure it. Sure, I should drink this. Or? <laughs> we, from a one to ten scale, we we rated it. So um, we're gonna add his. So what do you think off the nose? For for now, we're not going Isley. We're just going like regular Scotch, like if you'd have, like uh, like what we had when uh, we had sushi and we went to the other bar. Ah, uh, yeah. So uh, I can't remember what we have. Glen no. or did we have Dewars? Yeah, we had Glen Okay. The color's good. The car- the carameling is as well. It's not dark. Mm-hmm. Off the nose. Off the nose, it's um, I can almost smell bitter. Hmm. Very, very mellow in the front end. Oaky, smoky. Just enough of a bite to give you a, the warmth in the mouth and down the throat. And he's all about that.
pretty smooth. Like, yeah, that is a, uh, you can sip that, you can pound that. I got a feeling it'll knock your dick in the dirt, too. It's a uh, 92 proof, I think. Yeah, 92. So it, it's got it's, some heft behind it's it. It's got a lot, of, a lot of rich, kind of complex flavor tones back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. I like it. Not I like it on 1 to 10. Um, now I've, I've had a lot of the regular Cedar Ridge before. Um, this is this is different than what they usually offer. This is this is what do they call it? The quintessential, and, yeah, and the quintessential signature blend, and you can taste that. It it, it really kind of um, it's like the more refined version of some of the cedar oaks. Very very well done. Very well done. One to ten. I'll give it an eight. Okay. There uh, we go. It's 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 up there, and I it, I'm very picky about that. So I mean, eight's kind of high on my on the scale. Scratch that eight and a half. There we go. Yeah. Wow. So okay. Right. So two sevens and eight and a half. Yep. Yeah. So not too shabby then. I I did notice with my second. A little sniffle that I had that after it opened up and breathed a little bit, it did open up a lot more on its own. Hence why I would suggest taking like some really good mineral water, like really, really good mineral water, and just adding a little dribble of it in to help open those up as well. But yeah, so not too bad. Not in the sh not shabby at all. Very, very well done, actually, I think. Right. Now, yeah, I, granted, I, 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 he I... does have... The sweetness might be coming from um, some other things. Yeah, because uh, I did have my palate in this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just prior to, to. So so that might adjust a few things, but other than that, good. Very good. Very All good. Right. All right. Well, there we have it, folks. So, three beards, and uh, there's your votes. <laughs>